An iron door towers before you. It has rather conspicuous handles. Erwin pushes the massive handles against the door with all his might. It moves not an inch. Erwin gives the door a roundhouse kick out of pure frustration. As his foot connects, the door trundles to the side. So it was one of those sliding contraptions. Something leaps out at the Fellowship from the darkness. Winifred deftly parries the attack with her staff. Edwin looks fondly at Winifred, only to have his reverie interrupted by Berwyn's cry of, It's coming back. Route the enemy. Fellowship approaches the chest, only for a voice deep as an earthquake to echo through the cavern. You shall not have it, a voice growls. The Fellowship warily eyes their surroundings as several somethings leap out of the shadows. work. Fortune favors the bowl.
Winifred neatly steps through the fiend's remains and opens the chest. Inside is what appears for all the world to be an ordinary medicine bottle. At last, the royal treasure is in safe hands once more, Hedwin sighs. Winifred and Berwyn nod in agreement. Treasure in hand, the Fellowship exit the cave, exalted. In time, the Fellowship find themselves before the Queen once more. They offer her the retrieved treasure. As reward for the arduous task of returning our prized possession, I bid you name anything you desire, she proclaims. She is positively beaming and seems prepared to shower the Fellowship with riches, whether they demand them or not. But at that moment, a massive roar, like some which had never been heard before, shakes the entire castle. As the roar recedes, one of the royal guard, pale as a sheet, bursts into the royal hall. He struggles to gather his breath. Just now, over the castle, a... a dragon, he pants to Queen Nilla. A dragon. So the great evil has returned. Queen Nilla turns her gaze to the sky, dumbfounded. So the monster troubles are connected, Edwin says so under his breath, so the queen does not hear. A profound silence settles over the royal hall. The fellowship stand tall, unflinching, as though they know what must be done in the face of such a crisis. Don't you worry. We'll continue the tale another time. I look forward to our next session. Until then, I bid you good day. Farewell, friend.